I'm doing a juicy giveaway. I'm going to be giving away my entire gear set that you guys can see. Yes, it's bank. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is hit that like button, comment during your name, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into it. I just hopped into this brand new old school RuneScape RSPS, and I'm going to be giving you guys my honest opinion on the server. If you guys don't know, OS Alive just recently launched with loads of different content and a bunch of unique updates. And we're going to be going on for the first time, checking the server out, doing a bit of a server tour and then looking at their most unique content and their highlights of this server. That being said, guys, join me on this adventure as we go ahead and give OS Alive a rating from 1 to 10 on how good the server is. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Here we are, guys, on OS Alive, and we're going to start off this video by a nice server tour where we let you guys know where everything is. There are plenty of bank areas in this home area. Of course, if you guys look right next to me is the bank booth, but in addition to that, you're going to find the box of health and the lumberage guide but at the same time just east of where you spawned from the home telly you're going to find another bank and right next to that is also going to be their grand exchange where you can go ahead and buy items list items or check the most recent items to see if you maybe want to flip in the same area you're going to find a bunch of their chests like the corrupt chest crystal key chest and plenty others and of course a lot of their shops like the third age melee shop also known as the melee store you're going to find the third age ranger and the third age major basically all of your weapons and combat supplies and on the other side you're going to find the sami store the group iron man recruiter and the iron man shop they've also got this really cool area where you can go ahead and mine the burning ore burn the essence and the runes and at the same time go ahead and climb over or mine the enchantment stone what's really cool about the server is that their home area is extremely unique they even have another area where they use as a shop area basically you're going to have all of your melee combat supply stores your herb lore your resources everything you need in terms of shops they even have the vote shop the donor shop and even the ticket exchange shop everything is here so if you're trying to get any resources to start off your grind os alive is the best server and at the same time this area of their home area is where you want to go just south of the home area you're also going to find their skilling area so this is where you're going to find a lot of the thieving cooking right there and if you go all the way on to the other side you're also going to find the merchant where you can go ahead and sell those stuff for some cash they've also got the fire of exchange as well and the fire of destruction and of course it does tell you the burn rights here for the fire of exchange as well now there is tons of content on os alive and more specifically in their home area and of course we're not going to be able to showcase every single little thing so make sure you guys do hop on using the links below to actually get the full experience on this osrs rsps I definitely think it's important to go ahead and check out their teleportation methods and one of their main one being the teleport platform now if you go ahead and actually click on it this is where you're going to go to all your teleports those are going to consist of different monsters different bosses a bunch of wilderness teleports all of your skilling teleports they even have the skilling island loads of different mini games cities of course all of them that are in old school runescape are in os alive and of course they have donator teleports that are strictly for donators this consists of the donator zone the legendary zone and the onax zone I have just arrived at the Nightmare Boss, and I do have to say this works really nicely. Now, of course, I can go ahead and smack him with my Scythe of Virtue. They also have the full Judiciary set, as well as an Amulet of Torture, the Infernal Cape, which looks absolutely amazing. I have my Ring of Suffering and my Premial Boots. I would definitely like to add that if you go ahead and click on Examine up for any NPC, it's going to tell you the stats. It's going to tell you, for example, the level for melee is 150 for range is 150 for magic 140 magic damage is 64 and it's going to tell you all those bonuses and then it's actually going to go open it to you guys it says click here to view drops for nightmare and if you go ahead and click on that it will actually bring you to their drop table there we go guys here is the nightmare drop table it's going to tell you everything you can get including the full inquisitor set now it's going to tell you the amount the rarity and the chance as well so it is quite nice you can even get a damn pet which is a one out of 500 chance and you're going to get the little nightmare now in addition to all the really cool bosses that os alive has they also have a bunch of really cool features things that you will have on the server is the collections log 
which works for bosses, the wilderness, a bunch of different raids that they have like Great Olam and Theater of Blood, loads of their mini games including Barrows, and they even have another section which is like Clue Scrolls and Pets. Of course guys, they also have a fully working monster kill log that includes the kill and best kill time. They have the fully working drop table, a fully working loot table that works for all the keys, chests, and mystery boxes. They have a loot of world events and a timer for each one. For example, the Outlast tournament is going to start in the next 29 minutes, the Wilderness boss in about an hour and 14 minutes. Now, if you're a PKer, they actually have this setup for you as well. They have a bunch of pre-made setups that will cost you some money, but if you'd like to not pay, then you can go ahead and customize your own preset. And of course, if you want your own custom title, maybe you want to have the name Donator before your name or Onax or Helper, you can go ahead and actually buy this. For example, if you want the name Onax Club before your name, you can go ahead and purchase it and it tells you the title is for Onax Club only. You must be an Onax Club to purchase and display this title. So it's really cool as well, honestly. If you want the name Insane, it's 145 tickets. Now, in addition to all this, they actually have a bunch of different achievements. As you guys can see, I've already completed the Outlast Noob, which is enter one Outlast tournament. And I'm about to get 500k just for completing this, and boom, it is now in my inventory. And of course, they have loads of these, which range from easy, medium, and hard, and you can filter through that as well. Now, they also have a bunch of diaries, like all of these city diaries, like Veroth, Wilderness, Western, Mertain, and a bunch of other ones. So you can go ahead and actually go through and complete them. And finally, in the last quest tab is going to be the three quests that they have fully implemented, learning the ropes, horror from the deep, and monkey madness. That is, of course, in addition to all the server information that they grant you on the front page of their quest tab, which is things like how many players are online, all the bonuses, the most recent you know, wilderness boss, and the most recent world boss that's coming, all of your player information, total donation of $2,000, and of course, all the points that you have. In my inventory, I have a ton of different mystery boxes, ranging from the normal vote mystery box, all the way to some giveaway boxes, and even some mystery boxes. Now, of course, if you guys want to see what you can possibly get, it's very easy. You can go all the way to your quest tab and then go to this subcategory and click on the loot table. Or if you want another easy way, all you have to do is colon colon mbox. And this is actually going to bring you to the same interface right here that you would see from your quest tab. Now, of course, guys, we're going to be going ahead, going one after another, opening up those mystery boxes and hopefully getting some really good loot out of it. I'm excited and I guarantee you guys are as well. Let's get opening. Let's start with this crazy vote mystery box. Now, of course, I do only have one from each because I am going to be giving away a lot of these to you guys. All you have to do is hit that like button, comment your name, name and of course, subscribe to the channel. But let's begin opening. Of course, the vote mystery box. What are we going to get? We get an iron plate legs G. Actually terrible, but you know what? It's a nice cosmetic. I'll take it. All right. On to the next one. The YouTube stream giveaway box. What is going to be in this? Oh, we have to clear our inventory. All right. Boom. We just opened it. And as you guys can see, we get two YouTube mystery boxes, a normal mystery box, and we get a bunch of these donator scrolls. Maybe one of you guys can win all of these donator scrolls. Just comment why I should give them to you. And I'll pick one random winner from my comment section. And I'll give them all these mystery boxes and donators. Yeah, I'm giving away bank here. So make sure you do join. But all right, off to the next mystery box that we're opening. The YouTube mystery box. Let's see what we can get. Oh, it's actually a spin to win style, so that's amazing. Let's see what we're gonna get right now. Hopefully, maybe we get a ballista or something OP or maybe some third age. What are we gonna get? Please don't give me something terrible. A dragon chain body, not what I wanted, but I guess everything that we get, I'm gonna keep anyway. All right, let's open up this normal mystery box. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Another spin to win style unbox. Maybe we're gonna get third age this time. I do see a few third age. I seen an armadillo. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know what? I'll take it. What am I going to get? I get a dark bow. Again, not what I wanted, but I guess I'll have to take it. Off to the YouTube video giveaway box. Let's see if we can get out of that. There is actually a $25 scroll. All right, and now on to the YouTube Supreme box that is actually tier two of course let's hopefully get something good this is the youtube stream giveaway box as well we get so many donators boys and two of the regular mystery boxes let's quick open them real quick we get a dragon boots and a varus armor set 
All right, guys, and now for another tier two YouTube video giveaway box. What is going to be in this one? Let's go ahead and click on it real quick. We get a $50 donator. That's crazy. All right, guys, now it's time to go ahead. You know what? I'll open this one real quick as well. Another YouTube mystery box. Before we jump right into some of the super mystery boxes and ultra mystery boxes. Okay, what are we going to get? You know what? I'll take some dragon claws if I can get some. If not, then we'll take whatever we can get, and I get a dragon crossbow. Not what I wanted again, but now it's time to go ahead and open the super mystery boxes. Now, you can actually click on view loot as well, and it would normally go ahead and show you guys with the interface. But, of course, we can go ahead and click on it, and then spin to win. We'll spin to win one of them, and then we'll quick open the rest. But, hopefully, we make some bank, guys. I've really been hoping to make some bank out of these super mystery boxes. I was banking on that, so hopefully we do. Okay, we get a Sears ring, not what I wanted. Let's go ahead and give me some third age. Okay, an arms set, arm set. Uh, we get the ring of wealth, which looks actually amazing, and there is some cool features to it as well. Ooh, not bad. You know what? You know what? I'll take it. I really like the Cerdome, and it looks sick with my set, but I might as well stick to what I have. And now on to the Ultra Mystery Box. Let's quickly open some of those. All right, what am I going to get? Yo, this is loaded. Everything here is amazing, actually. So whatever I get would be fantastic. Give me anything. Okay, I get a band with chest plate. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Give me a party hat. Give me, you know, a, a serpentine helm. Give me this special shield. I'll take what I can get. Everything here is amazing anyway, so I'm just, okay, we get the armadillo chest plate. I do have the legs, I think, in my bank, so this would work perfectly with the legs. And off to our second last one give me a give me a halloween hat give me a magma helm what what can i get here okay you know what i'll take the serp i've really wanted one honestly let's quick open the rest we get a bando's uh, chest plate another one and of course for our last one we get the tormented bracelet that's gonna be the end of today's video i do want to rate the server a 8.5 out of 10 it is so nice it's extremely clean and they are constantly working on more and more updates I really love the custom home area of the server. It really stands out and it's nice to see that it's a bit of a change. Most servers just keep the same custom home area and don't change it. But OS Alive really implemented a brand new official unique custom home area that no other server has. So I really love that and it really stands out to me. They have loads of different content and they're always working on more content and that, and that is exactly what I love. So make sure you guys do join today using the links below in the description. Join OS Alive. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join the giveaway and I'll see you next time.